Good. I really hope this one tells us something we need. As do I. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Guatem Numbers 2. I mean, Sonatica Metal Zero. Um, so we have a For bit context. Of, yeah, we had a bit of difficulty. <laughs> the technical difficulties were obvious. Decided to just not start recording. And we missed like 20 minutes of. Footage. We missed basically an entire episode of footage. Almost. At least now I know that looking for fragments with this thing in this location is absolutely useless. Because all it detects is thermal plants. Just thermal plants. Just thermal plants. Only thermal and, plants. And don't worry, audience. He didn't die. She didn't die. There wasn't really anything scary along the way. Hit the data box. Yes. What do you think that? Yeah. And then we decided it's to just start going. Box. Yeah. And then we decided to just start going for some of the artifacts that we haven't gotten to yet, so we'll be doing that today. Yeah, we're gonna hunt down artifacts. The one thing I'm upset Half an hour of footage. Yeah, the one thing I'm really upset that we missed, where those sea monkeys giving us magnetite that I'm not sure if they will do it again. Yeah, we were looking for magnetite for like 10 minutes and then a sea monkey just swam up in front of us and was like, here you go. It was really nice. And I was making the comment that the first time I played this was during the early access before they added the architect getting shoved into your skull. And... Well, you know what this hey, Ran? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you forgot to make the storage. Yeah, I forgot to but, yeah. make space. Long story short, the first time I played this game, I committed a sea monkey genocide. So you're gonna want to head back down. Was it down? Was yes, it was down. Remember, your base isn't actually marked. Oh, right. It shows up on the map, not on the interface. And this is why I said beacon. Uh, how much did I need for that beacon anyway? It's literally a piece of copper and a piece of iron. Yeah, I think I actually... No. Oh, yeah, yes, you is. did. It was this. Down there. Yes. Yep, there we go. See? Because everything, cause everything's on fire right there, and there's your base. Right there, wait, that artifact over there? Fucking useless. It was not they mean there, but uh, there is an ion cube there. Yeah, but we're not exactly low on those, and we still haven't really used those for anything. Uh, once you get the tech, you can use them to make better batteries. You know that I think about it, I probably have the tech already. Why do you make the wall lockers instead of the standing lockers? Mm. Oh, it's probably because they're cheaper. Yeah, that and, you know, if I put this on the wall, I can put farms on the ground. Well, also, I like the standing locker because they have more space. I find this one easier to stack up on the wall. I also like them because they look prettier to me, but that's just me. You know, after you finish, we should do my playthrough of this. I would place it just outside your base. Yeah, you cannot one. place it inside the building. Yeah, but well, you know, I have to think. Now you can edit the beacon name. Something I don't know. I'm 
mean, not that you need the spy panglings right now. <laughs> so, we're gonna go back to Scary Lady's base. Oh yeah, for a fabricator in here. I think we established last time that you did not. Alright. Well, you know, I might have gotten the materials while scanning every single freaking thermal plant. I mean, the titanium? Probably. found closer to the surface. Yeah. Or deeper underground. Under the sea. Under the sea. Start Dad of Boy. Yeah, Dad of Boy just came out on Steam. Yeah, we're really bad about a consistent recording schedule. Calorie intake recommended. I mean, the fact that you're currently that we're currently across the world from each other probably doesn't help. Yeah, exactly. Twelve hours. Yep. It is almost funny just having Vital signs stabilizing. Oh, hey, there's some parts. It does take the scanner room a little while to warm up. Yeah, I don't mind if it takes a while. I just care that it actually finds the shit I need. Yeah, now it's detecting a lot. Oh, will we be able to make the... the thing? 
We should probably head for the artifacts that we were going, that yes. we collected. Yes. Yeah, at least Assuming I don't get lost. And then eaten by a leviathan. isn't to me this game isn't as scary as the OG Subnautica yeah once you know what you're doing more or less it's easier to manage but I guess that technically also applies to Subnautica and the original you just have that one also had you know those Leviathans I'm pretty sure those Leviathans were the main scary part of that no, the Reapers terrified the crap out of me through the entire game. Huh. I mean, These once, things once and I the ice a, worm you gotta... Yeah, once I had the submarine, I, okay, the Reaper Leviathan's kind of stopped mattering to me. I was terrified to leave my submarine throughout the entire game because of the Reapers. Okay, yeah, we did go by that tunnel and... I ignored, ignored it because we have been there about a half a dozen times or more. Down there? Yeah. I think down there is where we need to go. No, it's not. Uh, one of the times when you were drunk, you were trying to guide me here and you led me down that tunnel like half a million times. There's one alien artifact and nowhere else to go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember that now. This is where we A went. rare thing for when I'm drunk. That's the one we already scanned. Do you have something for me? No, the magnetite thing is good. I mean, eventually a sea monkey will remember. We'll realize that we need it and see it and be like, Yo, bitch. Give me attention. Oh, hey, look, there's the grapple arm fragment. Yep. Oh, you get the thing. And this is where the sea monkey brought us the magnetite last time. This time it brought me good. Oh, well. Which. I'm not too upset about. I wish I could fight the sea monkey, though. Thank you. Listen, I've pet them enough with the knife for the both of us. There was some flora that was scannable. Pretty. Yeah. Look Did, like this have you lost control of your mouse there? No, I was just looking in case there was anything else I could scan. I think after that we went this way. Do you have magnetite? Probably not. while I'm in here. Yes, it does. It just has very bad range. I almost got scared by my own shadow. And I even know that there isn't anything scary here. I think. 
the one in our group we call bitch. Quit being one. <laughs> Another side found, but I cannot yet tell whether the others survived. Still, it holds valuable information. Oh yeah, this is. I hope you will find more. This is exactly what we did when you realized that you lost. The network is indicating more of my people's technology, but the images I am receiving are fragmented, repeating. I am struggling to locate them precisely. Fragmented images. Why would that happen? I can only theorize that the locations are deep and shielded by a refractive material. Perhaps amongst large crystal OBS is recording, right? Yes. Yes, it is. Forgive Our me for being paranoid. Have been useful, but ultimately I have no definitive evidence as to the fate of my people. The network I hoped to rejoin may no longer exist. I cannot feel it. There could be a million reasons for that. Like... What if the network had a system update? They're on version 2001.4 and you're still on version 14.2. That would make me incompatible. How would I even begin to plan my upgrades? Okay, that's not what I meant. Bad example. You still know how to get home? Yes. So don't give up. Go there, see for yourself what happened. You are expressing You know, you're also plugged into a person. By probability. Hope isn't based on statistics. It's born from a drive for something better. There's a poem Sam loved. Hope is human. Hope is... Uh, oh, oh, right. Hope is the, the thing with feathers. This does not match any fauna designation I can find in your PDA. It's a line from a 19th century Earth author. Emily something. Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. I promise we'll get answers one way or another, Helen. Adding hope to your database. And when he says adding hope to our database, he means it. It just takes a moment. You may need to be not in the sea truck for it. Maybe. Just yep, there it is. And it does in fact include the whole poem. Now think about the fact that the architects have that in their databanks. That or she just... Or he just checked uh, the protagonist. Remember, she barely remembered the bits that she said. Yeah, but he might be able to, like, you know, scan deeper or something. Well, that's probably useful. I've already scanned one of those. Oh. Stop turning around!
Ran, you may not want to get out of the sea truck. Damn, you take ten for ten. <laughs> How long have we been recording? Twenty minutes. You may need a break after this. I may. I'm just gonna be safe. Don't you know violently alt F4? One thing that this game does really well, environmental design. By the way, you're only at the surface of the Crystal Caverns. Nothing dangerous is here. You'll know when you get to the dangerous part. I saw something. <laughs> Say hi to Red Boy. And this is the safe part. Magnetite. <laughs> what am I looking at? Hello. Hey, look, it's a prawn suit repulsion arm. saving. Just remember, the roar means they found you. Yeah. I'm not sure you can get down here, but... Red Boy can! I mean... Red I... Boy can very much fit in this trench. Who do you think made the trench? I mean, it doesn't seem to be going after me. Not like that helps. Because even if it doesn't, that just means I'm stuck here. Just go. Don't be afraid. Okay, which direction do I go? Forward. Forward directly that way. Yes. Proceed with caution. And the class Congratulations, you've here. reached the dangerous part of the bio. Look up. Ah, oh, I think you missed it. Please tell me where to go. Well, there's some kyanite. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> you didn't scan it. Shit. Whatever. <laughs> There's more. So I see. Turn. 
And that's big boy. Fuck off. <laughs> Remember what you said about there being no ghost leviathans? That guy's worse. Fun. That's grown up red boy. Fun. <laughs> you hate me right now, don't you? Kinda. Do you hate that I'm enjoying this? No, I pretty much brought you here for that, so... That is the only monster in this game that has actually scared me. And we might not even go in the right direction. There's another piece of kyanite. Yeah, that's what I noticed. And you're in an area that is too small for Big Boy to get you. That's what I was noticing, too. Time to scan it. So, you want to know what the worst part of this all is? We're out of time. That, but also, we need to get back home now. That's not too hard. Look at our height at, at our depth. <laughs> I cannot go down there. You can! Yeah, it will just kill the seat truck. No, you can without the seat truck. Also, we're deeper than the artifacts, so that doesn't matter. Gets the torpedo arm. Scan, 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 scan. By the way, the torpedoes are useless. Yeah, I am not surprised. I think you get a poison torpedo and a gravity torpedo and neither of them stop big boy. So like they don't even slow it down? I don't think the gravity one does at all. Gravity one does work against red boy though. things first. We need to get back up. Somehow. You're gonna have to go right through Big Boy's territory. By the way, I'd recommend eating those uh, fruits you got because they're gonna rot. That's power. Let me guess, we cannot go directly up from here, can we? I mean, there's a way up there. That guy scares me more than the ice worm. Yes, if I didn't have the self-defense system for this thing, I would be terrified. I had the self-defense system and that guy scared me more. Like the ice worm only only scared me because of the surprise factor, really. The first time the ice worm killed me, I started laughing. <laughs> Straight up. Fair enough. So, do you want to get back to base before we call it, or do you want to call it now that you're safe? Uh, I'm gonna call it, then I'm gonna repair this thing and head back to base off screen. So, yeah. I hope you had fun. And I'll see you next time, where hopefully we won't be eating on the way home. Need to leave 
See ya. By the way, uh, Red Boy does more damage. 